Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're given that the graph of a function f is given. We have it right here, and we're asked some questions about f. So first, we're asked to state the value of f of 1. It says the value of the function f when x is equal to 1. On the x-axis, 1 is right here. So we go up until we see the function. That's this point right here, which is a value of 1, 2, 3 on the y-axis. So f of 1 equals 3. b, estimate the value of f of negative 1. If we go here, x is equal to negative 1. We go down a little bit to this point, is the point in question now. We're asked to estimate it. It's somewhere between 0 and negative 1 on the y-axis. And it's a lot closer to 0, so let's just call that negative 1 fourth. You can have a different answer. You just have to be a rough estimate, so it has to be somewhere in that area. Next, we're asked for what values of f, or for what values of x is f of x equal to one? So for what y value of one do we see this function? Well, if we go at y equals one, we see that this is this line. We see that we intersect at this point here and this point here. So we're asked what the x values of these points. So for this point right here, the x value, if we go down, is 0. And for this point here, it's 1, 2, 3. So x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3. The function is equal to 1. Next, we're asked to estimate the value of x such that f of x is equal to 0. So we look for when y is equal to 0, which is the x-axis we see that it, the function crosses right here. That's between zero and negative one. It's not particularly close to either one. So therefore we can just say x is equal to negative one half. Again, you could pick any number close to negative one half and you're gonna be completely fine. It's just an estimate. Next, state the domain and range of f. So for our domain, that is the x values that the function can take on. So let's just go left to right. We start here at x is equal to negative two, and you can go all the way to this point at x is equal to four continuously with no breaks. So therefore, the domain is that x is between four and negative two. And we don't see an open circle on the end which means that it's less than or equal to, right? It can be equal to negative two and it can be equal to four. The range is the values which f can take. So we can start here once again, because this is the lowest um, y value. We have a y value of negative one. And again, it's less than or equal to because we can equal negative one. Then we go up and up and up, and this is the highest y value at a value of 3. So f of x can go up to 3, and then as we continue along the function, we don't see any values that we haven't seen before. Therefore, x ranges from negative 2 to 4, and f of x ranges from negative 1 to 3. Finally, we are asked, on what interval is f increasing? So what does it mean for the function to be increasing? That means as x is increasing, f is increasing. So x is increasing as we move from left to right. So we're going to do that and see for what intervals the function is also increasing. So let's start here. We can see as we move to the right, the function is getting a larger and larger value all the way up to this point. So from here to here, we are increasing. So we can say from negative 2 to 1 on that interval, negative 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 on that interval we're increasing and let's keep going to make sure there's not any other interval as we go from this point onwards as we continue to go to the right the value of the function is getting lower therefore it's decreasing therefore this is the only interval which f is increasing and that's our final part 